welcome back to our channel today's video is about child puke score so let's discuss it in detail so firstly what is child puke score it is very commonly used by gastroenterologists and also by liver transplant surgeons it was basically designed for predicting mortality in liver cirrhosis patients so before starting about child puke score let us discuss about liver in brief so as we know liver is the largest solid organ in the body now we will discuss the wide variety of functions so let us first understand that it metabolizes drugs nutrients fats proteins etc it is one of the important organs in maintaining immunity in our body along with spleen and other lymphatic tissues it is also uh, helpful in uh, production of clotting factors especially vitamin k that is associated with clotting factors that are factor 5 Seven, nine, and ten. It also produces bile, which contains cholesterol, mainly which is useful for digestion of fat and absorption of vitamin A, D, E, and K. Uh, bile also contains excretory waste products like drug metabol metabolites and bilirubin, which is excreted through feces. It acts like a stor storage organ, which stores fats, vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates like glycogen, etc. It also helps in removing toxic by products of certain medications so now we will discuss about what is liver failure when the liver is no longer able to perform its function adequately it goes into liver failure types of liver failure are fulminant hepatic failure in which encephalopathy start within 8 weeks second one is acute liver failure in this condition it is characterized by abrupt onset of severe liver injury third one is late onset of hepatic failure and the last one is chronic decompensated hepatic failure which occurs over 6 month of latent period now we will discuss about stages of liver disease so first we can see that is healthy liver then uh, second one is fatty liver in which fat is deposited and it can lead to inflammation third one is hepatic fibrosis in which scarring of liver can be seen then it gradually progress to cirrhosis in which severe scarring of liver can be seen and dis disruption of liver function also is seen and it leads to liver cancer the last stage is liver cancer it may form in livers with cirrhosis now we will see complications first one is portal hypertension and it is having subtypes like ascites ascites means abnormal build up of flu fluid in the abdomen second one is porto systemic shunt and variceal bleeding variceal bleeding means bleeding of varices found throughout throughout gi tract such as in esophagus stomach and rectum splenomegaly uh, then second one is jaundice and cholestasis cholestasis means the flow of bile from the liver slows down or stops then hepatorenal syndrome uh, then hepatic encephalopathy encephalopathy is also the one of the main complication of liver failure and last one is hepatocellular carcinoma all these complications due are due to certain liver diseases which includes alcoholic liver disease viral hepatitis a b c d and e primary biliary cirrhosis and we have already discussed about primary biliary cirrhosis if you want to watch that video we will provide link in description box you can check there uh, then primary sclerosing cholangitis alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency sometimes liver failure can also be seen due to drug overdoses and expo exposure to poison now we will get back to the child puke score child puke score is used to assess prognosis of chronic liver disease patients mainly liver cirrhosis the score depends on five parameters including bilirubin level albumin level prothrombin time or inr ascites and hepatic encephalopathy next it is divided into three categories a b and c category a tells us that the patient still has good hepatic function and outlook of the patient is usually better category b are having moderate to impaired hepatic function so they are potential candidate for a very proper treatment category c are having advanced hepatic dysfun dysfunction such patients have high mortality and life span of 1 to 3 year and may die of complications and this category c is quite dangerous so to calculate child puke score we take into account these five parameters so first one is encephalopathy encephalopathy is one of the main complication of cirrhosis 
so the first thing is presence or absence of encephalopathy if patient is well oriented walking talking sleeping well at night and having no mental problem then we can say that patient is having no encephalopathy and score given is 1 if patient is in grade 1 or 2 that is mild to moderate in this patient will be confused he or she will face problem in calculation but patient is reliable for giving history and can communicate communicate well with physician at that point score is given 2 if patient has altered mental status he or she may have tremors and disoriented in all points patient also may have delusions lack of memory so in this condition patient is given score 3 and you all know hepatic encephalopathy is caused due to elevated levels of ammonia which reaches the brain and based on that patient sign and symptoms we graded encephalopathy in 1 to 4 now another one is ascites if it is not present then score is given 1 and if it is mild to moderate with diuretic response then the score given is 2 and in severe condition with diuretic refractory the score given is 3 third one is bilirubin if the bilirubin level is less than 2 then the score given is 1 if the level is between 2.8 to 3.5 then score given is 2 and if it is more than 3 then patient is in third score now albumin comes first to the mind when we talk about liver function or chronic liver disease if albumin is more than 3.5 then patient is given score 1 where it is between 2.8 to 3.5 we give a score of 2 and if it is less than 2.8 we give a score of 3 and the last one is prothrombin time in which first we will see about seconds prolonged so if it is less than 4 seconds we give score 1 if it is 4 to 6 seconds then the score is given 2 and if it is more than 6 seconds then the score given is 3 if prothrombin is not available we can also use inr to predict the score so if inr is less than 1.7 then score given is 1 if it is between 1.7 to 2.3 score given is 2 and if it is more than 2.3 score given is 3 so on the basis of these parameters we can calculate the child puke score and there is an easy mnemonic to remember these parameters the mnemonic is a b c d and e a is for albumin b is for bilirubin C is clotting means prothrombin time D is distension which means ascites E is encephalopathy I repeat A B C D and E A is for albumin B is for bilirubin C is for clotting means prothrombin time D is distension that is ascites and E is encephalopathy so now if the score is between 5 to 6 then the patient belongs to class A and if the score is between 7 to 9 patient belongs to class b if score is between 10 to 15 then patient belongs to class c this category we have seen recently but this is with the points next child puke score is the predictor of post operative mortality after portocavulsion surgery or other major operations portocavulsion surgery means it involves a large cut or incision in the belly area or abdomen it is one of the major surgery and after abdominal surgery in cirrhotic patients if patient is having child puke score of a then mortality will be around 10% if the child puke score is b then mortality rate is 30% and if the child puke score is in c mortality is 70 to 80% which is very high it also predicts mortality risk and development of other complications from liver dysfunction because if patients are having score of c then the chances of esophageal varices ascites bacterial peritonitis or hepatic encephalopathy and community acquired pneumonia with any other immunocompromised infections all these are very much higher risk in c than b than a that is in decreasing orders now obviously there will be like limitations to this method so we will discuss that first one is doesn't it doesn't account renal parameter means if someone has uh, hrs that is hepatorenal syndrome then patient may die very fast even the child puke score is 1 second is subjective scoring of encephalopathy or ascites it is one of the limitation limitation as it is subjective and there is no objective rule to this so the score may vary from person to person or doctors based on their scoring it also doesn't differentiate between causes of chronic liver disease such as alcoholism versus wilson disease 
or some drug induced chronic liver, chronic liver disease so that can may vary last point there is wide inter, inter individual variability among patient assign the same score for example patient 1 bilirubin is 14 and inr is 6 patient 2 bilirubin is 4 and inr 2.3 this both patients will be always put into the same class as per the child peak score but actually this will not match because patient have high bilirubin and it will definitely have chance of very bad hepatic function so i this was all about child peak score hope you all enjoyed the video and understood very well please like share and subscribe the channel and, on, and also don't forget to turn on the bell button so you will get updated with more new videos so stay tuned and thank you